previously on Assassin's Creed 3. Leaving home was harder than I thought. I expected the journey would fill me with a sort of pride, a sense of accomplishment. But whatever it was that carried me away from home soon fled, replaced by questions. What? Um, I, I was told you could train me. No. Go away. I'm not leaving. Said go away, boy. Do not speak the king's English. Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. The boy's name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? Pardon my manners. She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention. Minor things, mostly, but with a little affection, she'll fly again. Come on, lad, no time like the present. Come on, come on, she won't bite. You can't sail. Ah, the killer flies again. Do you feel it, lad? Set a course for Martha's Vineyard. We'll find our guns and officers there. She's a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Call for full sail if you like. Let fly, full sail. Unfurl full everything, sail. full sail. Wind looks to be shifting. Stay alert, Connor. Dusty winds can be difficult to manage. Drop anchor. We'll go ashore, buy our guns, and find our officers. Oh, hello, Miss Mandy. You're looking every bit as ravishing as I remember. Hmm. <laughs> After all these years, you sail all the way to the vineyard to pay me compliments. We are looking for David and Richard Clutterbuck. <laughs> nice to see you, too. Robert Faulkner. Where the hell you been? Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No. Between contracts at the moment. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? 
We'd be for getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> <laughs> Good show. The Aquila is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Where is Charles Lee? I don't much care for your tone, boy. Hey, you don't want to be doing that, Biddle. Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. Could you finally realize you're a shite sailor? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in here, gentlemen. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out! Let's go, boys. Our guns ought to be ready. Come on. The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? A Templar? The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the Crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. Pull in the half sail! Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spotter target practice. Bring her on broadside, in. and when all guns are on target, call fire. Fire broadside! Load them up! Double well time. done, boy! Yes, now, aim all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. Make ready! Fire! Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. Fire! <laughs> you are a fast learner. Provided something interests me. Ah. Getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jack tar out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Half sail. Half sail, men. Full sail. Bend them all. Full sail. Gunboats are about. Why is he shooting at us? Ready up to fire. Destroying property of the crown, no disturbing go, the king's peace, take your pick! What do we do? No help but to fight back! Shoot the bastard! I got them! All of them! You get what I need, and I'll give them to you. 
Simple. You got a ship, could find them all to boot. Who is that man? Him? Some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really, but he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. He weeks. And not even a goodbye before you left. Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? Put them on. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You've your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. Welcome back, Desmond. You'll be happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Yeah? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's gotta be looking for us. Obviously it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky, though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. Local utility companies have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. If only they knew. What's this? A remote-operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is gonna get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? Testing. One, two, three. Yep. Reach you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? I've got pictures. Running diagnostics. Perfect. I've got a nice, strong signal. Just a heads up. There's no elevator access from here on out. You'll have to get up there the old-fashioned way. Seriously, Sean? Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus. Look on the bright side. No security to worry about. And on the not so bright side, the slightest misstep means you're effectively uh, paced. Shut up, Sean. Almost there, Desmond. Once you reach the top of the lit up crane, you should be high enough to make the jump. Should? It'll be fine, don't worry. <clears throat> well, you might want to worry a little. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. Sean! 
Wasn't so bad. So, you must be Desmond. Not exactly what I expected, but I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look, I'm not supposed to kill you, but the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. So you got to the count. <laughs> So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this, it doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Saved. We sought to face the sun's wrath and contain it. Four towers would be built to pull her fury into this place and dispel it. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. We could not meet the sun's cruel embrace. Perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. 
Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. find out. I shouldn't have lashed out like that. You have to understand, I've never been very good at this. Never mind that we live rather... extraordinary lives. Yeah, I kinda liked my ordinary one. You can't escape who you are, Desmond. So I've noticed. Look, it's silly for us to go back and forth like this. I admit, I did a shitty job raising you. I apologize, I'm sorry. But it's important you understand it didn't come from a bad place. You're my son. I love you. I guess I was so busy trying to make sure nothing bad happened, I didn't consider the consequences. Truce. I can't believe it's taken me so long to ask, but... How's Mom? She's not... No, 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 no. Your mother is fine. We decided it was safer if we split up for this job. Always assuming the worst. <laughs> for good reason. Can I at least say hi to her? I'm sorry, it's too risky. Maybe when we're done. Right. When we're done. Good luck, Desmond. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already Come spun? All Spare these a moment. things I must determine. Of course. For only by have knowing my enemy can I hope to stop them. What is it? Xingbao. Or rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Shaolin to... <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Ganondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean, what has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold, and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. He'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. Why not take a lobster home to the missus? Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. 
That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who was compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. The people here are no... F there is news of revolt hey! It's my home! No matter what you thieves called taxmen say! The gums in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! It's not open for discussion now! Open this door or these men will break it down! Ah! The bullets! We're coming in! I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. Honorable gentlemen. Uh, I could use some support. For once, I dare the governor to send more. <clears throat> you all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands, without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Connor, head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. Don't be skittish. That's the place. Ah! Pardon me. Come on, mate.
Stefan, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? Who cares? I've been robbed! Where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine. you want me to tell Johnson his tea just spontaneously combusted? Nonsense. Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window. to rob people blind by decree of the British Parliament or not British Parliament I work for William Johnson Johnson and he's suffering cleanly please the people seem to have an ear for you what are the things you lost? The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough. Which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker. In the English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance. For what it's worth. Your aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Now, I need to find Sam Adams. What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I have an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Stay the world, Connor, and I will make it so.
need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea is being dumped. Let me help you. I'm yours to command. Save the last one for you. We get out of here, huh? Next time on Assassin's Creed 3. The colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is... Regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. <laughs> <laughs>